Welcome to the Harvard Crimson. Founded in 1873, the Crimson is the nation's oldest continuously published college newspaper. We have 10 boards and 12 comps. News, business, editorial, arts, blog, design, which has print, web, and illustration comps, magazine, multimedia, sports, and technology. We are entirely editorially and financially independent from the university. Yeah, so one of the best parts about the Crimson is our financial aid program, which we started in 1988, um, in terms of all crime eds um, can join the Crimson and be a part of it, regardless of socioeconomic status. So anybody who's on significant aid at the college can um, be paid by the Crimson to write uh, and code and design and take photos here at the Crimson. Um, I first came to the Crimson um, during Visitas when I was like considering whether or not to go to Harvard. And I remember during a tour we went down into the basement and saw the presses. Um, and I just could kind of feel the magic that's making a paper every day. And I thought there's nothing on campus that I would rather be a part of. Um, it's something that you have to do together as a team. Um, and it's an experience like no other. I mean, it means a place that changed my college experience. It's where I met some of my best friends. I had experiences that made me a better person. I got to become a better writer. I met all sorts of amazing people within and without Harvard that I never would have met otherwise. Um, and I got to experience a place that makes college feel, I don't know, like there's nothing that would have made me had a better college experience. Whether you want to found a startup, become an artist, or win a Pulitzer Prize, the Crimson is the perfect place to work on campus. Working on the Crimson means covering what Harvard is today and changing it for tomorrow. Our articles and op-eds have won numerous awards and led to major shifts in university policy alike. No matter what you're interested in, the Crimson has something for you. Our alumni have gone on to win Pulitzer Prizes, lead the world's top companies, and serve as president of the United States. I can't imagine what my time at Harvard would be without the Crimson. I've learned so much and met some of my best friends, and I'm sure countless crime meds can say the same thing. The Crimson to me, well, it's where it all began. The Crimson was basically my Harvard experience. Being on the Crimson was one of the most rewarding experiences of my entire life. Crimson was the most formative, the most educational, the most inspiring, and the most fun of uh, all my experiences in four years at Harvard. Crimson was a foundation for my journalism. And I became a journalist. I've written eight books, I write for The New Yorker, I work at CNN, and I have the Crimson to thank for it. And I have the Crimson to thank for my career too, but it was totally different. When I was at the Crimson, I learned to love running things. I think among college extracurricular experiences, it's really singular. The newsroom is probably the best classroom that I had. The Crimson is a place that taught me most of what I know about journalism. The training that you get at the Harvard Crimson will last a lifetime. It's just the best entrepreneurial training I can imagine. And what I learned was really how to ask questions and focus on the answers, not focus on not looking stupid. And that has been of use to me in everything I've ever done in my career. And I learned how, to, how a real newspaper functions from participating on both sides of the editing process. Definitely prepared me for working in a real life newsroom, um, as I do now. What I learned there in terms of structure, the fundamentals of good writing and working under a deadline, those are the things that have worked so well for me in my career today. So you'll learn a tremendous amount in about how to write, how to take criticism, how to work with other people, how to investigate, how to think hard. That ability to communicate and to work with others is one that is invaluable, whatever your profession. It will launch you as a communicator, as a more confident person, whatever you decide to do in your life. I took expos, but I learned how to write at the Crimson. And the people who taught me were my remarkable colleagues. My colleagues, my friends. It's a phenomenal experience from the very beginning. There's nothing like the shared experience of putting out a paper often staying up till 3 a.m. or later for press runs to create bonds that last a lifetime. There's something really special, you know, working really hard to put together this newspaper and then also taking time to socialize, to get to know each other. And, you know, it's I, I certainly made a bunch of lifelong friends and I know a lot of uh, other people who uh, have as well. Come to Harvard because it's Harvard. Stay for the best journalism on any campus in the world in the Crimson Newsroom. 
There's really a mission to tell students and faculty and administrators and through its online presence, the world at large, the story of what's happening at Harvard. The Crimson, if you're willing to really put in the work, rewards you um, amply, not just while you're at college, but in the years to come. If you want to be in a competitive situation, where you can uh, demonstrate prowess in a lot of different things. And if you like journalism, obviously, and if you love to write, it's the best place on earth. But what I suspect will be the case will be that you will fall in love with it like I did, and like so many of my friends did. You find a home within the larger Harvard community. It can be the place that you'll be able to call home for four years, and the sort of place that uh, creates the type of friendships and the type of relationships that uh, will prove important for you for the rest of your life. Um, I hope that you would really consider joining the Crimson. Uh, I know that that building can use people like you uh, today and every day.